My own dear Damon, isn't it strange that although we have never met, I think of you as my own dear Damon. <laughs> In your last wonderful letter, you said you are longing for our first meeting. So am I, my darling. Every day that passes, the distance between London and Basingstoke gets further and further. Any news yet of your Porsche? What a pity it is laid up with a broken crankshaft. Otherwise, you could whiz down and see me. Oh, Damon, how I still remember that first letter. And how I didn't find it hard to believe that a man so experienced as yourself, so sophisticated, so wealthy, would be so lonely as to seek friendship through a pen club. Because my own case was so identical. Yes, even a beautiful model with independent means can know what it is to be lonely. To be surrounded by false friends and designing males who were only after her money. <laughs> but you, Damon, you are different. You are the one beautiful thing in my life. With you, I could be happy. As requested, I am enclosing a photograph of myself taken for Vogue magazine. I hope you won't be disappointed. <laughs> Please, Damon, dear, hurry up and send me a photograph of yourself. I do so much want to know what you look like. <laughs> from that girl again? Mm. Uh, yes. She must want her brains tested. Why? Well, that's the fourth letter you've had this week. The fifth? <laughs> she must be hard up. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Well, look, I mean, well, let's face it, Arnold. I mean, look at you. Oh, you've left it a bit late. If you'd wanted to get married, you should have done it years ago. Well, you saw the that, didn't you? Every girl I've been out with, you put the mockers on. You turned them all off me. Now, don't you start blaming me. It's not my fault if they don't fancy you. I've never interfered. Oh, there must be something about you that puts them off. <laughs> You're just not a ladies' man. Mm. Not like your father. Well, everybody fancied your father. Well, Michelle fancies me. Well, that's what I mean. She must be hard up. I don't suppose she's much to look at either. Well, that's where you're wrong. Have a look at that. Is this her? Yeah, there we are. See? She's a model. To dearest Damon from your beloved Michelle. Well, who's Damon then? Me. <laughs> you? Yes. Your name's Arnold. <laughs> I know, that's why I told it was Damon. What do you want to give me a name like Arnold for? Well, I don't think Damon's much of an improvement. I ask you, Damon. Where'd you get a name like that from? Damon Hill. Where's that, then? Oh, where's that? <laughs> Only one of the world's best racing drivers, that's all. Is he? Oh, well, it might be all right for him, but it sounds sort of daft with you. I have a Damon Biggs. <laughs> What's she think about it? She was very impressed. She says I'm the one beautiful thing in her life. Well, she hasn't seen you yet. <laughs> For a mother, you say some charming things. I just don't want to see you get hurt again, that's all. Do you want a sausage? <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah, I'll go halves with you. I won't get hurt, Mum. Not this time. She's different. Oh, look, son, she's not for the likes of you. No. I mean, that face, a model. I mean, she can go with who she likes. Lords, oil tycoons, snooker players. She's done all that. She's fed up with all them. She says they're shallow and vain. Oh, beautiful girl like that is not going to work. What, with an ugly bloke like me? No, I didn't say that. Well, I'm not exactly a paper bag job. I mean, it's not as if you had any money. Well, I 
I told her I have. Why'd you tell her that? Well, I got carried away. When she told me she was a model, I couldn't tell her I was a Coleman. What <laughs> did you tell her? I said I worked in a hospital. Well, that's not much better. It is if you're a brain surgeon. <laughs> you didn't! Well, it, it gets out of hand when you let her write in. Look, uglier blokes than me get married every day of the week and the good-looking birds. I mean, look at Rod Stewart. <laughs> I don't know what you're going on about. All right, all right, you go your own way. How long do you think it'll last once she tumbles you, eh? Hmm? You're going to get hurt, I'm warning you. Yeah, well, that's up to me. I'm going to write to her letter, asking her to meet me. Well, go on, then. You'll be late for bingo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Sausage fat all over me shell. Job it's shiny. <laughs> and don't say I didn't warn you. My dearest Michelle, thank you, my darling, for your letter and for the photograph which is in front of me as I write. You are even more beautiful than I imagined you to be. As requested, I am enclosing a photograph of myself which I had taken just for you. <laughs> well, Dad. I don't know how a good-looking bloke like you had, mate. <laughs> Must be one of your off days. <laughs> no. In for a penny, in for a pound. To dearest Michelle, love, Damon. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> Although my Porsche is not yet repaired. <laughs> I can't wait any longer, my darling. We must meet. Unfortunately, I can't get away from the hospital till next week. The sick and the maimed are forever with us. It seems a neurosurgeon's work is never done. <laughs> but I could meet you on Thursday next week. I will leave as soon as I have finished the heart, lung and brain transplant. <laughs> Shall we say platform nine at Waterloo Station at 7.30? Until we meet for the first time, I am your devoted Damon. <laughs> Yes, it's a uh, quarter eight. Oh. You waiting for somebody? Um, yes, yes, I am. Are you? Yes, yes, she's uh, a little late. So is mine. Your husband, is it, you're waiting for? Your husband? No, 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 a, a friend, a, a boyfriend. <laughs> Are you waiting for your wife, um, girlfriend? Girlfriend. It's usually the other way round. Usually me who keeps her waiting. Oh. <laughs> I'll give her another couple of hours and then she's at it, eh? <laughs> I'll, I'll just go for walks if I can find her. Oh, yeah. Good luck. Thank you. Excuse me, was the uh, 5.30 from Basingstoke in on time? Uh, yes, mate. Been and gone out again. Oh. You didn't happen to see a bird. Uh, um, 
A young woman get off, did you? Oh, yeah, hundreds of them. Which one do you have in mind? This, this one here. Yeah. Oh, she's all right, isn't she, eh? Uh, do you see her? Nah, nah, I would remember, do I? Why? You waiting for her? Yes, yeah, yeah. If you see her, I'll, I'll be by the indicator board. All right. Here, look, there's a bird there. Look, not she's waiting. Is that her? Do me a favour. <laughs> 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 yeah, I can't see from here. I'm lucky, I suppose, you know, they all look good to me. Anyway, listen, if I see her, I'll tell her, all right? Thank you. No luck? No, 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 no. The train was on time. Oh, I expect she missed it. I expect she'll be on the next train. Yeah, I expect so, yeah. Do you mind if I smoke? Not at all. Free country. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like one? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Not many of us left, smokers. I expect we've all died off, eh? <laughs> I smoke these. Do you? Yes, I save the coupons. Ah, oh, so do I, yeah. What are you after? The hair dryer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My friend's the electric tea maker. Mm. Another hundred packets and I'll have enough coupons. <laughs> I think I'll go for the garden fork and pack it in. <laughs> Buy some decent fags. Your, um, your boyfriend hasn't turned up yet, then? Uh, no, um, I was wondering if something's happened to him. He won't get annoyed, will he, if he sees me talking to you? Oh, I shouldn't think so. He's very sophisticated. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well... Cold, isn't yeah, it? Yes, yes, it is cold, yeah. It's cold enough to freeze the... But, um... <laughs> How'd you get on during the snow? Oh, all right, I don't mind the snow. Oh. Oh, I don't mind the snow, it's the cold that creases me. Of course, women don't feel the cold like men, do they? Well, that's what they say. They don't seem to. I mean, they don't, you know, they don't wear much, you know, underneath. <laughs> well, not like us, I mean... <laughs> You know, we, we wear, you know, we wear thick under our, you know, we wear, uh... Do you fancy a cup of tea? No, thank you. I haven't offended you, have I? I, I wasn't trying to be suggestive. Oh, no, no, not at all. I mean, uh, underwear is underwear, really, yes. isn't it? That's very broad-minded of you. <laughs> That's the way I look at it, when I get the opportunity, eh? <laughs> There I go again, nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Ah, that's all right. I mean, in a, in a healthy society, we should be able to discuss all sorts of, uh, all sorts of, uh... <laughs> you sure you don't want a cup of tea? All right, perhaps I will, oh. um, if it's no bother. No, 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 we're going to the buffet. Get out of the cold, eh? Yeah. <laughs> No sign of anybody yet. No. Mm. Oh, oh God, sugar. Uh, I think I've got yours. Yes, well, I have got a very sweet tooth. I'm surprised you've got any left. <laughs> I drank out of that side, so if you turn the cup round. Right, yeah, yeah, you can see where I've been, the, the lipstick. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't suppose we'll catch anything, eh? The hot water will kill it. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand it. He seems so keen to meet me. Oh, don't worry. He'll turn up. <laughs> You're all right? You're not crying, are you? <laughs> no! Yes, you are. You're crying. He's not coming. Then start crying. People are looking. They'll think I've done something to you. Look, here you are. Look, blow. He's not coming. He's not coming. Uh, uh, of course he's coming. He, he's just delayed. I, I, I expect something's happened to him. Oh, no, 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 I don't mean that. Look, Miss, cheer up. 
I'm in the same boat. Mine hasn't turned up and I'm not crying, am I? I will do when I get home. I'll probably strangle the goldfish. Look, you've got to see the funny side of it. The next time you see him, you'll probably have a laugh about it. I won't see him! Of course you'll see him. Stop crying! <laughs> hey, mind your own business. Turn round. Pretend you're fascinated with each other. Look, look. Is that him? No! Oh. <laughs> well, he, he's only half an hour late. It's probably quite simple. I expect he's had an accident. <laughs> Please don't go for that again. Look, have, look, have a donut. Donut. I'm so sorry. I don't know what you must think of me. Well, I, I, I think you're very nice, actually. It's railway stations. They're very depressing. People going away, people not turning up. I've never liked railway stations. Ever since I saw a brief encounter. I'm afraid I've spoiled your handkerchief. Oh, don't worry. I've got another one at home. <laughs> <laughs> You're very kind. I mean, me, a complete stranger. Well, not complete. I, I mean, we've known each other now, what, a quarter of an hour? <laughs> I, I suppose I should know your name, really. I, I can't keep saying Miss. It sounds funny, doesn't it? I'm Primrose. <laughs> Primrose? That's nice. Do you like it? Yeah. I think it's horrible. Oh, no, 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 it's not. No, no. Primrose. It's nice. What's your name? Mine? Oh, well, it's, um... Oh, what's the odds? Arnold. <laughs> oh, I like Arnold. You're joking. <laughs> you only said that because I said I like Primrose. No, I didn't. But Arnold's a stupid name. And you can't be taken seriously. Arnold. King Arnold. Arnold the Great. St Arnold of Assisi. You name me somebody famous called Arnold. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, but with a name like Schwarzenegger, it makes any first name sound good. Well, I like Arnold. He's just trying to make me feel good. No, it suits you. Yes, I know. <laughs> That's the trouble with it. Arnold. The agonies I went through at school with that name. You see, there are some names just don't fit children. Like George. You can't call a baby George. I mean, there should be grown-up names and kids' names. And you change over later. Nobody under the age of 15 should be called George. Marmaduke, there's another one. Or Arnold. Norman. Bad name, Norman. And Eric, a little baby lying in a cot with nappies on. Hello, and how's Eric getting on today? <laughs> no, it's not right. Train spotters' names they are. <laughs> Feeling better now? Yes, thank you. And I do like Arnold. And you. <laughs> well, it's, uh, it's warm in here, isn't it? Yes. It's nice. Yeah. The old blood's rushing back to me feet. Mm. Like two blocks of ice out there, they were. Mm. Colder than a penguin's chuff. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm terribly sorry. I, I didn't mean to say that. It slipped out. It was a mistake. Oh, that's all right. I don't know what a chuff is. <laughs> well, it's the bit that goes under the... Uh, but... <laughs> Where will you go if he doesn't turn up? Oh, I don't know. Go home, I suppose, and commit suicide. <laughs> Where will you go if she doesn't come? Same, I suppose. Still, I expect they'll get here sooner or later. Yes. Where will you go if he does turn up? Oh, I don't know. It's, it's up to him, really. He's a very cultured man. <laughs> we might go to Covent Garden. The fruit market. <laughs> the opera house. Where were you planning to take your girl? Well, it's very difficult, you know. She's been everywhere, done everything. Pictures, maybe. Oh, the Tate Gallery? No, the Odeon. <laughs> oh, then there's the Festival Hall over the way. Do you like music? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, so do I, yeah. I quite like that one with the cannons in it. Which one's 
set. Oh, uh, well, they, they played it on Desert Island Discs the other week. Uh, but the 18 something or other. The, the... the 1812 Overture. Oh, yeah, that's the one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're well up in the old music thing, aren't oh, you? Oh, well, I don't mind Tchaikovsky. Bless you. <laughs> Pardon? There's a joke, see? Tchaikovsky, it sounds like a sneeze. Oh, oh I get it. Yes. Tchaikovsky! Oh, bless you! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, you know, but my sense of humour. <laughs> yeah. What do you, um, if I may make so bold, what do you do for a living? I, um, I work in a shop. Oh, well, that's nice. Yeah. What do you sell? Well, it's a sort of, um, medical shop. Oh, chemists? Well, sort of, um, surgical appliances. Oh, what, you mean belts for fat men and that? <laughs> That's right. Yeah. That's nice. Um, what do you do? Me? Oh, well, uh, I'm an architect. Yes, skyscrapers mainly. Nothing under 50 storeys. No. No, I'm not. I always tell lies. I'm a mobile purveyor of solid fuel. A what? I'm a coalman. Been a coalman. Well, nothing, I suppose. I just wish I wasn't. Arnold the coalman. <laughs> well, I don't see that there's anything wrong with being a coalman. Don't you? Of course not. You know, I've get dirty. Mm, soon wash yourself. Your clothes get filthy. Doesn't matter, soon get them clean. Uh, you wouldn't say that if you were married to a coalman. I wouldn't mind. <laughs> At least coalmen turn up and meet people when they make a date. Not like some people. Do you know something? I don't think they're going to turn up. Neither do I. Do you know something else? I don't care. <laughs> Neither do I. If she turned up now, I'd have to stand there, freezing. <laughs> I'm fed up of being mucked about. I've been, I've been mucked about all my life. Yes, yeah, so have I. Some people have got no respect for other people's feelings, yeah. have they? Absolutely. Yes. If only they said, no, I don't want to meet you, leave right. it at that. But no, they lead you on, build up your hopes, then yeah. bang, they drop you like a bag of nutty slag. That's it. Well, good luck to them. Pigs! <laughs> Quite. Look, uh, Primrose, um, uh, say no if you like, I I'll understand, but... Would you like to come to the pictures with me tonight? Straight up, you know, no funny business. Yes, I think I'd like to. Would you? Really? Yes, I would. Then afterwards we can go to a little Italian, have some wine, make a night of it, eh? Uh, only if I can pay my share. All oh, right, yeah. Well, come on, let's go before they turn up. <laughs> oh, um, I'll just go and, um, powder my nose. Right, I'll, uh, wait for you. By the indicator board. I won't be long. <laughs> 